Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I am Janex, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Krunker mod and how to upload that mod into the game so you can share it with the Krunker community. If you like what you see in this video, don't forget to help me out by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. All right, the first thing you guys are gonna do is go to this website right here. I will have the link in the description. Once you're on this page, you wanna go over here up to the top right to this arrow and click download, select direct download. It will install onto your computer. Depending on how fast your internet is, this should take anywhere from five seconds to maybe a minute long. Now, once it's done, click these three little dots right here for options, go to show in folder. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is move this to your desktop. Just drag it on over there. Close everything out. Go to your desktop. You're going to want to create a new folder. Name it New Mod. Move that mod into the New Mod folder. Once you're inside there, you want to extract this zip file into the New Mod folder by right clicking and going down to WinZip and extract to here. If you do not have WinZip, you can go to winzip.com and download a free demo. You can also use WinRAR. Depending on how fast your processor is, this should take a couple minutes. These five folders contain all the files that you can modify within the game Krunker. In this video, we're going to concentrate on sounds and textures, so you can go ahead and delete the top three folders. Model, scripts, and shaders. Right click and delete. Replacing sounds for your mod is a lot easier than replacing textures, so I'll show you that first. Double click the sound folder and you'll see that every single sound in the game is listed. If you wanted to replace any of these sounds, you'll simply have to find an mp3 file or create an mp3 file that has the exact same name as the file you want to replace. So let's say you wanted to change the sound for the headshot in the game, which sounds like this. I have a sample file here called stomp.wave. It comes from the video game Super Mario World. It sounds like this. If I want headshots to sound like that, then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to rename it headshot underscore zero because that's the exact same as this. Now see how it's a wave file, not an MP3. All you have to do is change that WAV to MP3 and it will transfer the file from WAV to MP3 for you. Watch. See how it pops up? If you change a file extension, you might not be able to use it. Just click yes and then boom, it's an MP3 now. Now you drag that into here and it'll ask you if you want to replace the file destination and you just click yes, you do. Now the headshot sound in the game will be instead of the old sound. And you can do that with any sound in the game. You would just go one by one with the sounds that you want to change. Now remember, if you're not going to change a file, then you want to remove it from your mod. So let's say you only changed the headshot. The entire mod, you want all of the other sounds to be the same except for the headshot, then you're gonna delete all of these from your mod. So in the sound folder, you only have the file that you've modified. If you modify 10 sounds, then only 10 sounds should be in here. If you modified 15 sounds, then only those 15 sounds should be here. Delete every else that you don't modify and that goes for everything else with textures as well there's a list of all of the textures that are listed in the game including weapon textures sprays you can change any of these that you want in the game but if you don't change them in your mod delete them from your mod there's no reason to take up space in your mod so if I only alter this one right here to something else, then I'm going to delete everything in here except for that one, okay? Now, when you modify textures, I like to use a program called Pixlr. It's free. Link is in the description below. Click here on Advanced Photo Editor. Then what you're gonna wanna do is click Open Image. Go to your desktop and go to your new mod folder into your textures, and you can open up any texture that you want within the game. Let's say you wanted to change the color of the water in the game. You would open up the water file go up here to adjustment click on hue and saturation and what you could do is change the color with the hue up here so if you wanted green water you'd put it right there you can even brighten it up with a little bit of saturation and darken it if you wanted like a dark green or a really bright 
light green, you can change the brightness level with that. Click apply when you're done. Once you're done adjusting that texture, go up to file, go down to save. Make sure you're clicking PNG. All files in the game have to be a PNG and then download. Click these three dots right here, show in folder and move this downloaded item to your desktop. You can close that out and minimize this. And there's your liquid right here. Drag it on into the folder and replace the file. That just changed your blue water to green water inside your mod. Then what you're gonna do is go back into Pixlr, go up to file, click on open image and select the next texture that you would like to modify. This goes for every single texture in the game. You can open the image and you can go to adjustment and hue and saturation and change the color of every single thing in the game to anything you want. Now let's say you wanna take it to the next level and you want to add modified pictures instead of adjusting the color. Let's use bricks as an example. There's lots of cool brick textures online that you can add yourself and try them out. Open up a new tab and type in brick texture and click on images. All different types of textures pop up that you might wanna try. Once you find the one that you like, go ahead and click on it and then right click and save image as. Make sure you're saving it to your desktop and putting a name on it that you know. It's now saved onto the desktop. Let's go back into Pixlr and click this little plus sign over here and add an image. Go to the desktop where you just saved your new brick image. It's coming in huge here, so what we're gonna do is have to drag it down and grab it by the corner here and shrink it. Make it fit right there, boom. File, save, make sure it's a PNG, download, click the three dots, show in folder, drag it to your desktop, close it out, minimize, and now you've got your brick, underscore zero dot PNG, drag it into here, replace the file, and boom, now the brick image is your new brick image in the game. That's all you gotta do, you guys, one by one, open the image and modify it any way you want colors adding images to it and then when you're done go up here save the image make sure you're saving as a png click the download button once it's done show in folder drag it to the desktop close it up minimize then take that file from the desktop moving it into your new mod folder replacing the file in the destination one at a time until everything you want to change is done remember if you're not going to modify it delete it from the mod folder only have have what files you've changed in your modded folders. So if you're only going to make texture changes and you're not gonna mess with any of the weapons or sprays, take all of these and remove them to the recycle bin. When you're done modifying the files that you want to and you're ready to put it in the game, go into your modded folder, select both of these files, right click, go to WinZip and add to new mod.zip. Now you can add your new mod into Krunker. Go ahead and open the game. Once you're in the game, go to mods. On the top, click upload mod. Once you're in the hub, click on select mod file. Go to your desktop, click on your new mod folder and select your new mod.zip and open. There is an option to add a thumbnail if you would like a picture for your mod. Go ahead and upload it at this time. Once you have your new mod zip uploaded and you've changed your thumbnail, you can add a name. Add your name there, click publish, and wait a couple seconds until your mod is uploaded. Once your mod is uploaded, you can close the hub out, click on my mods, and your new mod should be there. Click play and it will load all your new textures and sounds. But that's it you guys, it's as easy as that. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you light up the comment section below and have yourselves a great day. We'll see you guys next time.